like it. Remember, things are subject to change. Okay, so that looked pretty beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Um, cool. Patrick, did you explain the new spot? Go ahead. Jump on in. I'll tell you as I go. So it's kind of main classic Southern French, tuna ni soi. So this one's kind of just interpreted and, and evolved a little bit. So it's just seared, uh, seared big eye tuna that we get in from Newman's. The base of it, kind of classic what goes into tuna ni soi. Potato, cornichon, capers, uh, green beans, we have the Romano and uh, Harry Colbert in there. Uh, everything's sauteed off together with a little bit of uh, crushed tomato, cherry tomatoes, uh, parsley, fennel fronds, and chives. And then the olive component to it, it's two emulsions. There's a uh, mixed olive, which will be a niçoise olive, which is the darker puree there, and then the uh, Casa Voltrano Ooh, olive. That's good. So essentially what it is, is it's um, olives, pitted olives, uh, um, enough brine to cover and then put it in the blender and start curing it, and then a little, just a very small amount of what's called xanthan gum. It's a modified food starch that just thickens it up. Oh, xanthan gum. Yeah, it yeah. thickens it up immediately. So it's just, that's the olive component to it, done as a puree. Then the other sauce is romesco, which is, uh, in that? what's that? Yes, uh -huh. there is uh, oh. almonds in that. Is there bread in it too? Mm -hmm. oh. That's the thing. allergy and gluten. Really good. Yeah. Do not have romesco. Or romesco. Thanks. So yeah, it's roasted peppers, uh, raw garlic, touch of saffron, uh, bread, almonds, lemon juice, a little bit of champagne vinegar pureed, and then uh, just emulsified with a little bit of uh, lemon oil and extra virgin olive oil. The mm. egg right there will be a uh, soft-boiled quail egg in the near future. Soft-boiled quail egg. Yeah, it's great. Let's try it with the Coes. This is a new wine to the menu this week. What is it? Coes from uh, Cherisola uh, di Vittoria in Sicily, so southeastern Italy. This is in Solia. Can I see the label? Bracanino, that's a way It's also in your hand. How's the tuna? You've already decided? Uh, no, I'm tasting it. It's really good. good? Uh, yeah, just salt, pepper, seared, rare. Yeah, it's all the components of a tuna and you smell up. I've just altered a little bit. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to try to get some uh, mock lettuce in also for it, just to kind of add a little bit of a lettuce-y component. Pretty early for mosh. Huh? Pretty early for mosh, but there's lots of other little Okay, yeah, if there's, if there's... I'll show you the list if you want to look at a bunch of other stuff that's Yeah, out great. Arugula. I just anything rather that? not... Any the mosh that would get is hydroponic mosh oh. from Canada. It's just going to be crap. Okay, yeah, if there's any any other green, just to, you know, kind of... Yeah. And then the potatoes, those are just Yukons and uh, red potatoes. They might change a little bit. They might be, you know, roasted, but in, basically they're just cooked off you know, and diced up like that, and then crisp up in a pan. Uh, once you add a little tomato to it, it kind of negates that, but just... I really like this with the romesco. When you get a hit of the romesco, 